Well, welcome to Yoga with Carola. I'm super excited to be with you guys today. You do need two blocks or two books that are the same size, they'll work as well, or I can give you options where you don't need them at all. Um, we're going to work on our core. We're first going to become aware, and then we're going to get into some exercises, because our core is it's the basis of all our poses, right? It's what helps keep us sitting up tall. It's what keeps us from falling over. It's where our digestion happens. It's just so much magical stuff happens in our core, right? So with that, I want you to place your hands, palms down. I want us to lengthen, lift the heart, and take a breath. Now we're going to just start to circle, think around that spine. And I want you to come as far around as you can. One more. And let's switch. Really drawing in. One more. And come back to our center. Now, I want you to know that this is an option. You can come back to this or stay with this. But we're going to try and move on by keeping our feet bent for this first round. We're going to extend our arms. And I want you to do that same thing. We're going to circle to the left. Come up top. And I just want you to explore the core. Notice what muscles fire, what works, what isn't working maybe. Now let's switch directions, take it over. Now we're going to take our legs straight. And we're going to take our arms and we're going to reach them over to that right side. Bring them around, hollow out the core, bring them back. Big, I'm stirring that big pot. Yeah. One more. And let's go over to that left side. Stir that pot. So when I come forward, I'm pulling my belly button to my spine. Now, in yoga, we have several different types, at least the way I teach, abdominal stuff going on, right? Let's come back, sit up top. So there's times in crow that I would lift and hollow out my belly, my belly button to my spine. In down dog, we also do this. In a plank, I want you to imagine that you have skinny jeans on and you just zipped up and everything is just hanging out like this. It's just toned and in, maybe more like in a warrior two that we would use this. Now with that, let's come onto our hands and our knees. Now we're gonna root down through our palms. Our knees should be right underneath those hips. And we're gonna start out by extending the right leg. And as we exhale, I want you to round, bring your, your knee to your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. One more time. Feel it, knee to nose. And extend, releasing our right foot. Let's extend out through our left. Draw the knee to the nose. Now I have to create space. I have to round through my spine in order to bring my knee up, right? And last time, extend. And release. Now stay with that, especially if our balance is a little bit off, or maybe if we have any wrists that we're protecting today. Otherwise, we're going to extend out through that right leg again, and this left arm. Let's exhale, knee to elbow. A little bigger movement, right? Lengthen. Knee to elbow. Lengthen. Last time, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Pause. See that core, see that work, and release. We want to make sure that when we extend that leg, we don't drop the belly and raise our towel. Left leg, right arm, inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, inhale, lengthen, exhale. Creating space, right? Knee to elbow, inhale, lengthen, pause, and release. How do we feel? Do you feel that core starting to warm up, right? Awesome. Now, we can come back to our knee to elbow, stay with that. We're going to come with me. We're going to do a little bit more. Um, all right. We're going to make our way into a down dog. And from our down dog, we're going to shift our hips back. Now here is where I was talking about. We're going to pull our bellies in, hollow out our abdominals, walk our feet together, and let's start to extend our right toes to the ceiling. Draw our right knee to the center of our chest. Extend. Right knee, center of the chest. Extend. One more. Right knee, center of the chest. Feel all that work happening. Extend, let the left foot float down. Now let's extend up through those left toes. Left knee to the chest. 
and extend left knee, chest. Last time, bring it in, feel it, and then extend, letting it go out. Come back down onto those hands in there, or to seated, sorry. You skipped hands and knees. Didn't mean to. Down there. So I'd like you to grab your blocks. If you have them, blocks, books, nothing at all, you don't need. Okay, so we're just going to sit up top. Now, I am short. I have small torso, small arms. I tell this all the time to my classes. If you are long, you might have to move your blocks. I can bring my blocks in that works for me. Now, we're going to just sit in a crisscross, and I want you to take a deep breath in. As we exhale, press down into the blocks, lift just the hips and release. So again, I feel like my belly is hollowing out. We're going to switch. Whatever leg is in front comes behind. We're going to do the same thing. Inhale, exhale, press, lift the hips and release. How do you do? Good at home. Okay, so now we're going to go back to that first side. So whatever leg is probably tucked in, I'm going to bring it to my hip crease or as close as I can because we haven't really warmed up our quads, right? So I want you to take a deep breath in. I want you to exhale. I want you to bring this top leg, this bottom leg, the left leg can stay on the ground. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, press, and lift. Oh, and switch. So the reason I like to hook it on my leg is it just makes it that it comes with me, right? Okay. Let's inhale, exhale, press, and lift. So once we get the exhale, the press, we want to make sure that we can breathe in again and breathe while we're doing our core. Now, we have the option to go back. We're going back to that first side. So we have the option to stay in half lotus, or if full lotus works for us, we can come into full lotus. Now I'm going to show you without full lotus just to show you that it is possible for those of us who can't get into full lotus, this next part is possible. Okay. We're going to inhale, exhale, press down, lift up, including that left foot. Oh, release. How do we do? Now this side, I'm going to come with you and do a half float or full lotus. So I'm tucking my left leg on top. My right leg is coming next. Now I'm going to flex both my feet, keep my ankles working. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press and lift. And breathing. And release. How do we do? Awesome. I hope. Remember, we have the option to just stay right here. And again, if you are longer land, move your blocks around. This is your practice. Have fun with this. Okay, now we're back onto our hands and knees. Lots more core. We're going to make our way into that high plank. So we're going to curl under our toes, shoulders over our wrists. We're just lengthening from the crown of our head. To the heels, right? And then let's start to press that thigh here down dog. Walk those feet together. We're going to inhale, extend our right leg. Draw the right knee to the chest again and flow. Now, I can add a little kick up. I bend my left knee, allow my right to float. Maybe that's too, not where we are today. And I can stay with this flow right here. Now, let the right foot float down. Find our down dog, find our breath. And then let's extend the left toes. Left knee to the chest. And extend. Again, we can flow here. Maybe lift. One more. Woo and release that left foot. Let's come back down onto our hands and knees. How are we doing? So it becomes a little cardio, right? Awesome, I love it. So again, the biggest thing I want you guys to notice is your core. If we go too fast and you lose that connection to your core, just slow it all down. Now, we're gonna grab our blocks again. And I will tell you, if you have your blocks like this, be very aware because they can come out. Not saying you cannot have them like that, but I would not go any higher than this. So we're going to come into that kneeling position, and this is where, again, we play. We play with where our, our blocks need to be. Okay. So I know that my blocks need to be towards my knees because I'm going to round. I'm going to show you sideways. 
I'm gonna really round to be able to lift my knee. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna lift one knee at a time. So pick your height of your blocks. Now we're going to take our core, lifting it up, exhale, press down, lift the left knee, and release. Let's lift the right knee, and release. Now can we lift both knees? Here's a little trick. Cross the right foot over the left, as we press down my trunk and cootie on my mat. Inhale, exhale. And then I only have to lift one foot because the other foot's working with me, right? So the idea is just to exhale and press up. Go ahead and try. Now again, play with where the blocks are. Maybe I lift one at a time. Feel that deep, deep core lift. I imagine Spider-Man has shot a web from the back of me into the front and then drawing that web from the front all the way back out my back again. Awesome. Now, we're going to come back to seated. Again, it's a practice. Play with it. It's all about that core awareness. Okay, so I want you to imagine you're shooting a bow and arrow here. So our knees are going to be together. We're going to lean back slightly, and I'm going to keep my lower back up. My collarbones have lengthened, and we're going to draw that right arm back, and then the left. Now, when we're just like this, now we're going to take it, open, come back, and extend. So draw it back first, little twist, come back through. Just one more time like that. Uh, it doesn't seem so nice. Big hug. We doing all right? Okay. So again, lots of fun things to do. Play with our core. Now we're gonna take our legs wide. It's one of my favorite. Um. Yeah, we'll do this one. Here we go. We're gonna take a deep breath in. I'm bringing my right leg. Get my blocks. We're going to press down. And I want you to just lift the hips. Leave the heels on the floor. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, press down. And release. Now remember, if my arms are longer, I might have to go out. And I might need to go closer to my knees. I know I like to have them close to my hips. So take a deep breath in. Bring the left leg. Exhale. Now let's go back to that right side. So this time I'm going to lift my hips and my right heel. I do adjust my blocks just slightly. So go ahead and play with that. Inhale, exhale, lift. Now I will tell you, if you were a dancer, pointing your toes probably feels more natural, right? If you were a foot, flexing that foot might feel more normal. I think they're both okay. I would say do one or the other and just be mindful about which one you've chosen. So let's go to that left side. Inhale. Exhale, press down, lift, and release. Okay. Now, now I'm going to lift everything, right? So I'm back to that right side. I'm going to push down. I'm going to bring both heels and my hips up. Are we ready? Okay. Inhale, exhale, lift, pull. Now, did you give yourself a cramp? If you did, go ahead and roll. So I've got to find some work in my quads, but too much is going to give me a cramp, right? Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, press down. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Now, we're going to just come back to seated for a moment. Just breathe. How are we feeling? Pretty awesome. Okay, so we have one more that I'd like to do. Blocks or no blocks? 20% your choice. Um, I'm going to not use my box for this one. Now I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see what we're doing. We're going to take our fingertips so they point in the same direction as our toes. They can be slightly turned out. Just make sure they're not turned behind us. Now we're going to lift up into a reverse tabletop position. I'm going to push down through my feet, lift their hips. Now we're going to come back, swing those hips through. My behind does not touch at all. Bring it back up. So I'm lifting those lower core muscles, right? Come back and look. Give me one more, just like that. 
all the way. Let's come back to seated. How's that core feel? If we feeling pretty amazing and a little on fire, right? Yeah, we want to have all of that core strength. Now, each one of these moves would prep us for one of the arm balances that I absolutely love. Also, for kicking up into handstands, that's also that flow with the down dog. Anyway, so just know that all of this core has a purpose for later poses, right? For more into our advance. We can do the core to make strong core. We can do the core to explore new poses that we've not been able to explore, right? So come into that seated position. Just sit up tall. Take a breath in. I want you to exhale completely. And then let's sweep those arms above our head. Inhale. Exhale, draw those hands to our hearts. And thank you for sharing your yoga practice with me today. The divine light in me honors and acknowledges the divine light in you. Namaste. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and use this with the other videos and make a great long one hour practice. A fabulous day.